you know, everybody goes, oh, you're so strong, you're so strong. But it was a struggle every day. It was a struggle every hour. So I was in so much pain because the one thing that was killing me, it was not just the botulism, but I couldn't, they couldn't feed me. So I was slowly, I went from being 130 pounds to like 65 pounds. They never really allowed me to look in a mirror. And this is, this is one of those, it was eye-opening for me because they would always say to me, oh, you're so beautiful today. Oh, look, you know, did you brush your hair? Because I, I, was, I couldn't brush my hair. And I remember that was the one thing I wanted to do for them because I can only guess what my hair looked like. So I remember asking the therapist, I was like, you know, at, at Kessler, could I brush my hair? And she was like, oh, I could do even better. She goes, we could put on makeup. So they wheeled this, this cart in front of me and they wheeled a mirror in front of me. And it was the first time, and I was a skeleton. I had, you could see every feature, like my eyes were sunken in and I could count my ribs. And I remember just holding this brush and all of a sudden the therapist ran to me and I was like shaking and, and I, I guess I started crying, but the, maybe I wasn't crying, but I was trying to. My brain couldn't take it because it was the one time I went, I can't come back from this. You know, I, I could say, oh, I'm moving my hand today or whatever, but when I looked in the mirror, I was like, I don't know who that is. Who is that? And who is, who's the girl that everybody says looks pretty every day? because that's not pretty. I'm scary. I looked like a human skeleton.